Okay, um, so use the north voltage analysis to find the current branch currents IA to IE. Okay, so the question wants us to do the <clears throat> north voltage analysis. So for doing so, as you know, the first thing is to find the essential nodes. So this is an essential node, and as you see, they're all connected. We can just consider them as a node here. And then this is another essential node and this is another essential node. So we have three essential nodes. We set them as a reference, one of them as a reference. So I put this as a reference and we assume that the voltage is zero here. Okay. And then we have two more nodes, uh, V1 and V2. Okay. And then we write the KCL on the non-essential, uh, I, mean, I mean, essential nodes which are not non-reference, which is V1 and V2. So let's write the KCL at V1. Okay, so for that, we are assuming you're here, and then you look at the, all the outgoing currents, basically. So the, let's say you start from this current, current which is going this direction. So that is V1 minus, so this voltage minus this voltage, okay. So what, what is this voltage? If this is zero and there's a 128 volt voltage source, so this is 128 volts, okay. So therefore to find this current, V1 minus 128 divided by five. This is this current, okay. And then the current which is going down, against this voltage, we want minus zero divided by 60. We want minus zero divided by 60. Plus, the current which is going this way is we want minus E2 divided by two. Equal to zero. Okay. So here I should mention um, a general, in general, and you have a resistor and you want to find, let's say, the current which is going <clears throat> this way. Let's say this is the direction of the current, I. Then for that, you look at the arrow, you look at the direction, and you start from the voltage or at the beginning of the arrow, okay? So let's say this is, I don't know, like, let's say this is VA and this is VB, and then this is R. So if somebody says, what is I? You again, look at the direction. Start from the voltage at the beginning of that VA minus VB divided by R. Okay. So if you just uh, uh, be mindful of this rule, then you can write the case cells very easily. Just look at the direction and then the voltage at the beginning minus voltage at the end divided by the resistor. Okay. So that's it. Let's also look at the case cell at. V2. Again, for V2, now you're assuming you're here. Okay. And then you look at the, the currents. Okay. So let's look at these currents. So again, the direction is this way. So I will write V2 minus V1 divided by 4. So V2 minus V1 divided by 4 plus. The current which is going down is V2 minus zero divided by 80. 80. And then the current which is going to the right is V2 minus this voltage. But what is this voltage? Again, this is reference. I have a 320 volt a voltage source. So this, the voltage would be 320 volt. So therefore this current is V2 minus 320 divided by two. V2 minus 320. Divided by 10 equal to zero. Okay, very good. So we have two unknowns, V1 and V2, and we have two equations. So you should be able to solve it either by hand or by just calculator. Uh, first, let me just arrange them. So V1 times, so just group all the coefficients of V1. So 1 over 5 plus 1 over 60 plus 1 over 4. This is V1, yes. V2 times, V2 is more negative one over four, equals to the constant, uh, which is 
28 divided by, that's the first equation. And then the second equation, it will be one times negative one over four, uh, that's it, plus V2 times one over four, plus one over 80, plus one over 10, is equal to, so I have a negative 320 divided by 10, so I, I will take it the other side of the equality, so it becomes positive. Okay, very good. So again, you can, uh, because it's just two equations, we can do it by hand also, but we can also use calculator. To save time, I just write the final answer. V1 is 162 volts, and V2 is 200. Okay. So we, we calculated <clears throat> the V1 and V2. Now this question specifically wants us to find the currents, I, A, I, B, uh, up to I, E, um, but having V1 and V2, we can easily calculate those values. Um, so let me, again, just, just with this rule that I mentioned here, this is the rule that, when you have a resistor and you know the potential, and then there's a direction for the current, and just look at the direction, and then look at the, the beginning voltage minus end voltage divided by R is the current. So let's practice this, for example, for um, IA. Okay, so if I look at IA, And this was the one which we, we calculated as 162. And V2 we calculated as 200. Okay. So therefore IA is IA is this direction, right? So therefore I look at the beginning voltage, which is 128 minus the end voltage, which is here, 162, divided by the amount of this, that's IA. Yeah. Now, if I want to look at IB, when I write this here for IB, Again, you look at the direction. At the beginning, the voltage is 162 minus zero divided by 60. Okay. Similarly, you can find IC. IC is again the beginning voltage, which is V1 minus V2 divided by four. V1, which is 162 minus 200 divided by four. ID is V2, which is 200 minus zero divided by 80. And finally, IE. IE is, again, look at the direction. The first thing is look at the direction. Then look at the beginning voltage, which is V2 here, 200 volts, minus the end voltage here, 320, divided by the amount of the resistance. 